I wrote the script for Lady Bird, so after I was done writing the script, I felt that it was time for me for me to direct a movie. I always wanted to. I felt like, because I didn't go to proper film school, I felt like I needed to get time under my belt working as a producer and as a writer, and when this one was done, I was like, okay, this is, I, let's, let's jump off the cliff. I had always wanted to make a movie that was basically about home. What does home mean? And the way that it's difficult to see it clearly when you're there and it's not until you're gone that you look back and you understand what it was. What surprised me most about directing was that it felt like completely natural to me and it also felt like, oh, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. This is exactly what I like and what I think uh, fits really well with my personality type. The greatest joy was working with the actors and the actors who we gathered and who came on board to be in the movie were just so tremendous and that they took these words that I had written alone and then made them come to life and working with them on building the characters and deciding what it was. That was incredible. Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. I had such a strong idea of how I wanted the movie to look. We wanted it to be very framed and like almost like still lifes the entire time. Um, I was basing a lot of it off of um, medieval triptychs, the way like s stories would present themselves, almost like proscenium scenes. So the way I used the camera was very still because I was trying to create paintings. Just being able to be in control of every aspect of it, from the look of it to the way we design the sound to the way we you know process the image to the even like designing the title sequence all of that was just such a joy to be able to be involved with every single step i think i want to do it a lot 